Hey everybody, welcome back to MicroBeerReviews.com. This is a bomber bottle from Stone Brewing Company that we have been waiting to review for, quite honestly, about a year. Um, this is their Imperial Russian Stout Bomber Bottle, 2014. It's a beautiful bottle. It's got the uh, traditional stone labeling on the front here. <clears throat> I think we paid about $12 for the bomber bottle. It's 11% ABV. It's one of those beers that they recommend you kind of let simmer down and kind of age a little bit before you try it. They describe it as a, a Russian stout that is so thick, so th sinful and rich, you might worry about that you'll be doomed in the fiery pits before you think about a sip. Hence the Stone Brewing Company humor. Rest assured, however, even though this seemingly uh, peculiar brew is indeed a black, is as black as sin, we guarantee that no actual sin is being committed in making it. You'll have to add to your own, and this massive, intensely aromic beer abounds the notes of black currants, coffee, roastness, and its heavy palate is nothing to be trifled with. Hence, the descriptions from Stone Brewing Company. They tell you almost nothing. IBUs are 60. Like I said, ABVs are 11%. It's considered an imperial stout. The only way this can be distributed, distributed is in 22 ounce bottles in draft. I bought this um, probably back in October. It's now February, so I let it sit for a little bit here. Um, on the back of the bottle, it's got this enormous description. You can see this very small lettering. And it talks about how... I'm not going to read this whole thing, because when I do that, everybody on YouTube gets irritated with me. It says it's, it, you know, doomed for the pits. It's uh, almost evil. Rest assured, however, that the faithful gargoyle has done its job. There's doses of decadent and uh, vivacious beauty before you, and there is no actual sin. Uh, add it to your own authentic, historic, uh, black currants, coffee, roastness. Uh, prepare for a heavy palate. Uh, what else they talk about? The blah, 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 crude taste. Uh, the thing I like about Stone Brewing Company is they tell you very little about what is actually being processed in the beer, but they give this enormous and totally ridiculous description on the back of their bottles, which is part of their marketing, and quite frankly, I like it. So, without further ado, I have been waiting a while to try this. We're going to crack into this thing. I expect it to be an extremely thick, black, um, very roasted stout. It's something that I think Stone does a phenomenal job with, by the way. This is one of their classes of beers. Um, Stone and Joy Buy is my number one beer for 2014. FYI. Watch that video too. But, I mean, you look at this. It's as black as black can be. You can't even remotely see my hand behind this, as you can see. It's got this extremely impressive kind of caramely head to it. It smells phenomenal. Um, it's got coffee, malt, chocolate. <coughs> it definitely has what I call that imperial smell. So you can tell this is high ABVs. I mean, 11% is a lot, but you can definitely smell the kind of what most people would say, that kind of alcoholy smell to it. But it smells great. I mean, this beer is perfect for what they described. There's very, you can't see this on the camera, there's a little tiny bit of carbonation coming up the bottom. Just a tiny bit. Just enough to feed the head. And that looks absolutely perfect. So, it's that chocolatey, malty, perfect um, mixture that Stone is so good at doing. So, here we go. Cheers. Oh my 
my goodness, that's good. Yeah, so, wow, that is phenomenal. It's smooth, it's easy to drink, it has no bite to it, it's got an extremely good finish to it. You can even taste the hops in there, but most importantly, you can taste that smooth, subtle, kind of chocolatey coffee, multi flavor in there, but it doesn't have any kind of bitterness to it. It doesn't have any kind of bite to it. This is why everybody always talks about Stone Brewing Company and why they're one of the number one growing breweries in the United States. So, there was a reason why I waited to brew this or review this beer because they said just let it simmer down just for a few months and it was spot on. I mean, it's just, it's phenomenal. It's got an amazing finish to it. It smells just like a stout should with a little bit of chocolate and a little bit of that kind of malty background to it, but it's not overpowering. And if you watch them on their videos, it's something that I really appreciate. I don't like when beers, especially stouts, people try too hard with stouts. I, IPAs are like long gone. Everybody's trying to throw fruits in there and 18 different hops. Stouts are right on that verge where everyone's trying to put everything into them. Stone did a good thing. Keep it simple. And it was perfectly done in this beer. This is a five on our rating scale between 1 and 5. I'd absolutely buy this again. This is something I would keep on standby in my reserve beer cooler that I have. Um, I think I, I think I paid $11 for this bomber, and that's, that's a steal for this. Because this is one of those beers, it's a great sipping beer, it's great for the winter, it's even great for the summer when you want to have a nice stout that's got a lot of flavor to it. But one of the things about these beers that Stone does so beautifully is that they're so easy to drink, which is dangerous, but they have the perfect balance in the brewing process that the palate realizes what's gone into it. So good job, Sun Brewing Company. Five on a rating scale. Phenomenal, phenomenal stout. Thanks for watching microbeatreviews.com. Please leave comments on our YouTube channel or our website. We upload on uh, Twitter, Facebook, all the time. Thanks for watching. Cheers.